Speaking personally, I, I just want to say thank you, Ram Dass, for being here now with me and all of us across four decades of spiritual practice and inquiry. And thank you especially for being right here, right now with us in this conversation as we peer forward into the future of spiritual practice. It's a tremendous honor and a delight to have you with us. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Well, um, as you know, many of our friends are afraid that we're in a, in a real tremendous crisis right now and that, and that it's going to take a, a cultural revolution for us to meet that. Do you have any opening thoughts about how our spiritual practice right now is perhaps evolving or changing or, or shifting so that we can come together in a new way to, to rise to that challenge? Well, I think it's um, the, the come together actually doesn't do it. It's more like um, uh, be together. Um, I don't think uh, people are, um, um, I don't think we are doing very well in large groups and large external groups. Um, when each of us in our, uh, in our insides turn to what is inside, that gives us, brings us together. Um, for example, we all have peace in our in 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 our hearts. And it seems silly to out for out for for uh, yell for it out there when we have it in inside, and. Um, and when we have that inside, we radiate it. We radiate peace. And that's the way we get peace in the world. It's individual by individual by individual. And it's individual in relation to God. Um, I remember being at a um, a um, a peace rally at uh, Boulder uh, at the uh, the factory that made uh, uh, bomb bombs, um, and I Allen Ginsberg told me to come and. Uh, I was sitting with um, a, a big, uh, about uh, 40 or 50 people in, in meditation out in the grass in the, by the uh, um, railroad tracks there. And they were, there was a, um, a stage and uh, Caldecott, Mrs. Uh, the doctor from um, um, Australia, yeah, yeah, Caldecott. Australia, yeah, and um, she was up speaking, and she was speech. We want peace, peace, and uh, it. From where I was sitting, that wasn't the way to do it. That wasn't the way to do it, because we we need the peace from our from our our hearts, and 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 just a few of us, a few of us, the peace in our hearts, that will that will influence. Many, many. 
Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I can feel love in my, my heart. And I start walking around the streets, and now I roll the streets, but uh, uh, I, I look at people's eyes, and I, I look at them as souls. And we make contact, and we both go deeper in our spiritual lives by by meet, meet meeting that way yeah the uh, there's a, a deep paradox in these kinds of questions that we're asking because in some sense our spirituality is is in our own hearts and we arrive at that through our own inner practice. And yet, I know a lot of us feel, as, as you also do, in, you know, in your history, you know, this impulse to serve and to, to, make, a, to make a difference, to address the systemic uh, patterns in our world as we, as we serve, not, not only to, to be kind to the person we can see right here, but also to somehow address some of these larger patterns and systems that seem to often be so so destructive. Well, I, I, I wonder if you'd like to, yeah. Well, it's not going to be done with the mind. And no matter how... Um, awesome the problem will will we fear is not the way to to go um, and When when I go inside to my heart, I don't feel, I don't see, I don't hear the problems. I hear the solutions. And this, being with the with the problems in the mind is nothing. No, no, doesn't solve the problems. And I, I see that our ego, which up here in the mind, is is built on fear. But down here, the, the, the real self is built on, on love because it it's, it's rises from the Atman. And if you are your perception, the root of your perception is love. The problems seem very um, mind manufactured, mind manufactured. And also, I think that surrender to, to 
a higher consciousness is a way because um, you look at all of the darks and lights of society and you, you feel you don't have anything to do with that and you have it haven't uh, your mind can't even comprehend why are those there why are those there and you are when you open up to uh, to uh, the one you truly surrender to that one you realize that the, the one has its has its uh, its manifestations in dark and light. Um, and I can't see that we we we're uh, our minds aren't going to. Uh, to equal the mind that creates the, the creative mind that 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 makes the trees and the ocean and our, our bodies and our our thoughts and uh, then. <sighs> And we sh may be uh, very little scratches on the wall with our with our uh, with our intellect. Um, now, when I when I surrender, I. I I feel trust and faith at, that the world is going just wonderfully. And because I know it was, it, it's not wonderful to my mind, but I can feel it's going wonderfully. Having, having um, been with my guru, and people of that nature, and souls of that nature, I have, I have, um, I have trust that there is That there, that there is consciousness running, running our world. There's a story I tell. Um, it's a, a rather long story, but um, stop me if you want to. If you want to. Uh, when I 
came, uh, uh, left India the first time. Um, I, um, my guru invited me to come back in two, two years, uh, and he'd be waiting for me. And um, so two years came by, and I into India, and I couldn't find him. Looked all the little places, little uh, villages. So I went to a meditation class, a Vipassana meditation class. And there were about 60 people of the, uh, in the uh, uh, 60 meditators. And uh, And I, by the, I think it was around the halfway through of the meditation course, it was a 20, 20 day or something like that. And um, I decided I didn't want to work. I didn't, um, I didn't want to meditate. I, I'd go out and look for my guru. I'm spending all my time, instead of watching my breath, where is he going and where, where are we going? And um, at tea break, I talked to the girl uh, on the next Zafu, and um, I said I was going to do that. She said, oh, I'd love to go and look for your guru. And I have a friend who has a, a bus that goes from England to India. What he does, puts under the floorboards, I don't know, but I, it's, it's a... Uh, We'll get him to go, and we'll go in the bus to go for your, for, for look for a girl. So when we, time to go, it, it, there were uh, 24, 24 of us going, of the 60, and word had spread. And um, we started out uh, to Delhi, which is where there was ice cream and soft beds and all those things after the meditation course. And so uh, we were going straight to Delhi, and uh, uh, Danny Goldman was... Uh, um, in the bus, and he came by, and he said, "You know, why don't right? We can take a right up there, and that'll be uh, uh, over in Allahabad, and it's really a very sacred city, and uh, where the Kumbh Mela is, uh, and the rivers to come together. It's so." Um, I could, uh, this is a, a 10 in the morning, 10 in the morning, and I said, well, we'll try to decide, and I sh I'll, I'll either go straight or go right, I don't know, but I'll think about it, I'll, I'll, I'm going to deci decide about it. Well, we're all, we're all spiritual speak. Spiritual seekers, we could go to the right, but we that ice cream was awful good, <laughs> and we went and went and finally the bus driver said, "Do you want to go right or do you want to go left?" I said, "Well, I'll make the decision," and I said, 
go right. And we go to Allahabad. Allahabad is a big, empty, it's like a, a fairground. It looks like the fair has gone, you know, but the, the sandy... And a couple of people, a little walking, uh, some dogs and things. So where uh, I I said, well, we've hit this the the sacred space, and we'll uh, these bus stars across, and Ramesh Wadas, who's in the back of the bus says, there is Maharaji, who, my guru. And Maharaji is walking with a man uh, uh, right by the bus. And I, of course, uh, my, I oh, lose breath and I say, well, look, uh, why don't we all stop and... Uh, stop his touch his feet and we stop and uh, we all tumble out and touch his feet and uh, he doesn't seem the least bit uh, a surprise and then um, he says Follow us. Where they had a rickshaw falling by him. As the rickshaw through the streets and big bus behind the rickshaw. Didn't know where, but he just said, "Follow us." And he, we came to the the man's. The with him house, and the bus pulled up, and the man's wife came down, and she says, "We've been waiting for you." Uh, hmm. And then she said. Maharaji woke us up at six in the morning and said, get up and make food for 25 people. That's, that's the including the bus driver. <laughs> at six o'clock, and I had... At, 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 Ten o'clock. I was deciding. I thought, what kind of deciding?